So Zaping Yin is pretty good at worst, and I think at best she's probably pretty broken in solos currently. Now, I think as a whole, the character is actually pretty fun and interesting. I do like her F abilities, I do think F needs toned down, but I en quite enjoy the extra abilities she gets compared to other characters' abilities that are kind of used as pseudo combo breakers. Um, I think it allows for a lot of outplay potential for the healer, especially in solos, which I think is really fun. Technically, Kurumi can do around the same thing, but her outplay is not as good, and her ability to be self-sufficient isn't as good. Now, I think her ultimate is a little boring. I think the F2 is bad, just straight up bad. It might be better in trios if it applies more well defiance to your whole team. But I don't actually know if it does, so I don't play trios, so I do apologize if you're a trios player, you wanted to know that. I do think you can also combo off of the Mole Defiance when you do it if you get hit by a light attack. Like a low stun light attack to set it off, I'm pretty sure you can actually scoop them with a lot of weapons afterwards. I haven't successfully done it, but I've also only played about 15 games of her as I've had power for like 4 days. With that being said, I do think they need to at least look at, and this is for more than just her as well, they need to look into doing like solo specific balancing because I'm sure her F2 isn't that oppressive in 3v3 but in solos there is no way to actually chase her down or actually fight her straight up if she has F2 it both heals her for like 200 like 100 armor I think it's 125 armor 125 HP it might only be 100 it does that and then it also gives her a way to trigger that uh, like light armor to light attacks or whatever uh, for 8 seconds, but the trigger stays on it for 12 seconds and the cooldown is 25 seconds. Right, so technically with a little bit of CDR, if you don't interact with her, she just has it permanently, but if you interact with her, you are just at a massive disadvantage on like every character. Uh, I do think she is probably top 3 in the game, currently up there with like Justina, uh, Matari, and Takeda. Uh, I do think she's pretty easy to play as well, which I, mean, I think all of them are kind of easy to play besides like Takeda, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I do think that her F1 actually has some potential, uh, and I think that the way she can like kind of stack healing is pretty cool. But I haven't really seen anybody use it, everyone just kind of sticks to just pressing F over and over again. And hopefully they go about changing that a bit so that it can be a little more interesting. Besides that though, you know, I think she's pretty fun. Yeah, I, if you want to win games, definitely pick her. And if people call you a nerf picking her, eh, whatever, you know. If you want to win, you want to win. Have fun with her. Peace.